Hi, this is Colleen Curley, and I'm going to be doing a short video on the anatomy of the temporal bone. This particular temporal bone is the right temporal bone. So looking at it from the side, this would be the anterior portion, this would be posterior, superior, inferior. Okay, so on the temporal bone, the thing that you so use the most is the EAM. So this small circular hole here is the external acoustic meatus, or the EAM. Above that, this large, broad, flat section is the squamous portion. This portion over here, which is kind of rough, notice how it looks rough? This is the mastoid portion. And the reason why it looks kind of rough is because it's typically filled with air cells. So they're trying to let you recognize that it's a different portion of the temporal bone. And so this whole section is the temporal, um, excuse me, the mastoid portion. This down here is the mastoid process. Let me turn it this way so you can see that it actually does stick out and further down than everything, than the anatomy around it. So we have the um, mastoid portion and the mastoid process right here. All right. Now, the other thing that really stands out on this bone is this process that comes anterior here. This is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. This is the posterior part of the uh, arch, the uh, zygomatic arch. This rounded area here is where the mandible articulates with the temporal bone and it is the mandibular fossa. Just anterior to that there's a little um, tubercle here and that is the articular tubercle and again that helps with the articulation of the mandible. This sharp pointy thing coming down the inferior portion is called the styloid process. This styloid process is there for attachment uh, to the tongue. Um, and let's see, we have a tympanic portion right down here, very close to the EAM. This portion right here is the tympanic portion. Now I'm going to turn this so that we're looking at it from the anterior direction. And you can see Never mind these things. These things are used to put this whole skull together. But you can see this chunk of bone coming this way, and it's coming in uh, into the middle of the skull. So where my finger is now, it would be towards the middle of the skull. So if you look at this chunk of bone, it looks kind of like it's like a pyramid or triangular in shape. So the term for this portion of the temporal bone is called the petrous portion. Another term is petrous pyramid because it's pyramidal in shape. Or we can also call it the pars petrosa. What is this chunk of bone for? The organs of hearing and balance are held within this piece of bone. If we tilt this this way, you can actually see almost like a little tunnel right there. That is the carotid groove. That's where the carotid artery passes through. So, the very top portion of the petrous pyramid, think of it as like the, um, the ridge of a mountain top. This is the petrous ridge, but the petrous ridge is the very top portion. The whole portion is petrous portion, or petrous pyramid, again because of the shape of the pyramid, and another term is pars petrosa. So let's go over this again. We have the squamous portion, we have the mastoid portion, we have the petrous portion right here. So there are three portions to the temporal bone. On the mastoid portion, we have the mastoid process, which is right here. We have the styloid process. 
we have the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. We have the um, articular tubercle. We have the mandibular fossa. We have the external acoustic meatus and the tympanic portion right here. That's it for the temporal bone.